Hi guys, welcome back to Black Salt. You hear me tweet and put on our website a lot that we have live spot fronts. We just want to have you get a little look at them today. They are coming into us live, still moving. Coming out of the state of Washington, Puget Sound. They're trap pulp, which is basically stick little pots in the ocean. Put uh, bait. Uh, some guys use cat food. Some guys use you know heads of fish, collars, and whatnot. And they're a sustainable source of, of shrimp. Really fresh, as you can tell, they're still alive. And they're here at Black Salt. A lot of people are doing oysters these days. Uh, people doing you know coming in, getting oysters on the half shell. Some people getting them as they are and shucking them at home. And we're going to do just a little demonstration of how to shuck oysters if you want to buy them as is from here, take them home and open them up right before you eat them. It's the best way to What we have here is a uh, Village Bay Oyster. It's basically a Beausoleil seed out of New Brunswick, Canada that's grown to a little larger size. So you get all the champagne flavor uh, out of the Beausoleil but just in a larger package which makes a very nice experience. And you want to place the oyster in your hand towel like this, fold over. Now you're just going to nuzzle your, the end of your knife in there, just like that, to get it popped. And once you have it popped, you turn the knife over, and you want to cut the top side of that abductor, clean off. Flip it over, and you get a nice open oyster. What you want to see is the liqueur. You want to see a little bit of juice. You want to see a nice plump oyster there. You don't want to see anything shriveled up. You want to cut this bottom abductor here. So that's severed. And you want to give it a little smell. Now, a fresh oyster will smell like the ocean. It will not have any funk to it. There's no, you know, sulfur smell or anything like that. If you get that smell, it's most likely an oyster that has spawned or that has died. And you don't want to eat that because it can be an unfortunate experience. Now, uh, most people put a little mignonette, uh, a little squeeze of lemon, Tabasco cocktail sauce. Uh, we serve all of them here at Black Salt, but I myself, I have to recommend that you try the oysters for themselves because uh, that is the true experience. And you gotta chew. Chewing is the, is the best part of the oyster. You don't want to just suck it down. You want to put it in your mouth, chew it up, and taste everything that it's got to give you. And this little guy gives you a, ni a nice, creamy uh, champagne flavor with a little bit of kick of brine at the end reminiscent of the oceans that it come from. Um, you can get these here, the Village Bays. We also have Tatamaguchi, Pickle Points, uh, Raspberry Points, Maryland Bay Oysters, Chickateeks, uh, from Washington, Hama Hamas. We have Kumamoto's, Kushi, Stellar Bays. Anywhere from 8 to 15 different types of oysters. And they all have their each own private little experience to give you. So, come to Black Salt. We can open them for you. Or you can take it home and open it yourself.